Hello everyone, welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at Fantastic Mr. Fox, chapter 5 and 6. Now, this chapter starts with the, um, the three brothers, Bogus, Bunce, and Bean, just being tired of digging, 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 digging. <gasps> tired of digging. Well, we need to stop, because it's not working. And so they kind of um, kind of yell at Bean. Bean, this plan didn't work. Your plans are stupid. But Bean says, what? I can't hear you. Because he never takes a shower. He never cleans his ears. So inside there's earwax and dirt and bugs. And you can see in the picture, he kind of falls out of his ear. So they have to yell louder. Your plan isn't working. Well, Bean thinks, I have a new plan then. We need to use some machines, and we need to go get some tractors. So, Bogus, or no, Bean, and, well, yeah, Bean and Bo Bogus, Bunce, Bean and Bunce, they go to get some tractors. And then they come to get these tractors to scoop out the dirt to get the foxes as they're scooping out the fox family feels <laughs> what is it is it an earthquake what's going on and they can see slowly more and more light coming up from their tunnel <gasps> they're getting closer they're using machines to dig in and they say oh dig faster and they start digging um, down deeper into the tunnel. In the next chapter, chapter six, it starts off with showing the hill that the foxes lived on. This big, beautiful hill, used to have a nice, beautiful tree. And then the tractor knocked over the tree and they start scooping out. And actually all throughout this, we can see the hill. Boink, boink, boink. And then down into the hill, boink, boink, boink. And they, at the end, the hill is kind of caved in like this as the foxes dig down and the tractors dig down. But we can see at the start, it talks about no more hill. The hill keeps getting lower and lower. And this race starts with the tractors going down and the fox is digging faster uh, uh, and the tractor's coming and the fox is digging faster uh, and the tractor's coming. Oh, they could see the uh, and they dig faster. And this race happens. So far, the foxes are winning, but it looks close. Finally, all this noise and excitement, people start to gather around the side to see what the what bogus buns and bean are doing they're like what are you guys doing over there because they've dug a huge hole and they say we're after a fox and all the people start laughing and teasing them because they think they're doing such a crazy thing making this huge hole to catch some foxes vocabulary first one is strong strong is to hang so he says, I'm not going to stop until I've killed Mr. Fox and strung him from my house, right? So keeping him on a rope, maybe to dry his skin or something. Mechanical means from a machine. So they're using these mechanical shovels, or we know them as tractors, right? These huge machines to dig up dirt. Brutal. Brutal means um, kind of strong, hard, uh, not kind. So imagine, um, uh, let's see, if you were uh, brutal, uh, ugly, um, violent. There you go. That's kind of a good way. Um, let's say I punch my friend. Okay, just punch him. Boom. But if I punch my friend brutally, bah, 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 ah, ah, oh, really strong and kind of ugly and very violent. 
keen. Um, keen means sharp, but in, in this vocabulary, it's more of a British style, and that's kind of like interested or focused on. And um, the brothers are very keen on capturing the foxes as soon as possible. Prowling is like a uh, sneaky hunting kind of walking that animals do. Like you're hunting for something. You're prowling. And I think the brothers say, no more prowling after our chickens and ducks and geese. Maniacs is like crazy. Just crazy people focused on one thing. They can't think of anything else. The maniac. Jeered. Jeered is like uh, kind of teasing or saying something bad like what are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are so silly. Boo. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you'll never get them. Oh, what are you? Okay, that's kind of jeer, jeering, kind of saying yelling negative and bad things. And the people were doing that to the brothers. Obstinate means you don't change your mind. The brothers kept getting more and more stubborn and obstinate. I will not change. I will do this. I don't care what other people say or think. I'm going to do this one thing. They don't want to change. Whew. Discussion question. How would you get Mr. Fox out of the foxhole? Okay, imagine you were bogus, bunts, or bean. Okay. And you have this problem. Let's imagine, okay, that Mr. Fox is bad. Okay, let's imagine he's really bad and you need to get him. Okay, how would you get Mr. Fox and his family out of their hole? Of course, please make your own discussion question. That is all the time that we have for today. But thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hey. If you have any questions about the video today, uh, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. If you had any other vocabulary words that you wanted to know what they meant, uh, let me know. And also, if you're interested in maybe joining one of these book clubs, um, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.